Uh, I can read some because I was 11 years old uh, when I came, so I had several years of uh, uh, education in, in China. Uh, here's some words that you can you can really make uh, uh, some sense of it. <coughs> the, the, the person who wrote this, you know, he's uh, educated. He'll probably at least have a high school education. You know. As you probably heard, you know, the speakers today, <coughs> they almost would demolish all these buildings uh, for a campground. So, you uh, know, so we're really fortunate that they did save them because this is a part of the history and uh, now it's going to remain part of the American history. And that's the important thing. The America is made up of immigrants and the story of the immigrants need to be told. You know, history depends on who writes it. I came over here <clears throat> as a son of a U.S. citizen after uh, the period of detention and after they have interrogated me and also interrogated my father, uh, and uh, I, I was admitted. I met somebody sitting in front of us. Yeah. They said they came in 49. 49. And, and they were incarcerated at Sansom Street. Funny you say incarcerated. Yeah, well, I didn't feel I was incarcerated. No, that. That's what the word they used. Oh, I, yeah. I, I was, I was detained, but I, I didn't feel like I was being so locked were, up or anything. Were they were very tricky questions. <clears throat> I can trick you with, uh, even if about your own home, you know, because they ask you about <clears throat> your family, your brothers and sisters, but beyond that, they ask you about your house. Which way does your house face? How many windows you have on the south side? Who's your next door neighbor? How many uh, steps are <clears throat> there going up to your front door? These things you don't pay attention to, so, but I was prime, you know, about the question. So my, my and dad, and, uh, they, they tell me what they had told him, so, I want to make sure I tell them the same story. So in that sense, you know, we make up the same story. I'm glad they have preserved these uh, buildings so that our kids and the future generation can remember how it all started. Uh, my, my family's here and I told my uh, daughter, you know, if I didn't come through Angel Island, you know, they will not be here today. <laughs> uh, we just need to have some evidence of what had happened. And I think people would appreciate uh, what Angel Island now represents. So I, I, I look at this as part of my life and part of the history of the Chinese in the United States because all the Chinese that are here, they came through as immigrants and then they have their offspring, their children like you. So we are again fortunate to be part of the history, part of the ones that are writing the history of the United States. My name is Robert Hong. I came here in 1936 uh, as a detainee and tried to immigrate to the United States. I was 11 years old then, and I'm now, that's 84.